Hey there fellow wedge shavers, Brian here with the Wedge Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Today's video we will be using Luther's Black. This is in uh, collaboration with the Razor Company. Uh, there's a look at the top label. Uh, we got to look at the side label there. So um, list of ingredients and all that that's in there. This is in the version two base for Luther. Uh, give you a look at the pour. You can see where I scooped a little bit out for the bowl lather. Uh, this is a Luther's a little bit of a softer soap um, for those of you who haven't used it. It's not like um, super soft, but I would say it's like a, a milk steak um, kind of uh, softer style soap. Um, for those of you that are interested in that, I will be using the matching splash for black. Uh, and again, we'll be staying with the Luther black um, tub kind of theme uh, with the Razor Rock, not Razor Rock, the, <laughs> the Rockwell 6S. Uh, fourth or fifth use, probably last use on this Gillette 7 o'clock. I just realized I didn't put anything in my hair today, so this is what it looks like. I don't put any product in it, it's a little frizzy, and I got my skunk uh, gray streak going right down the middle, which is super exciting. Um, <clears throat> we are using the Alpha uh, Shapeworks brush, synthetic brush, the Alpha Synth um, knot on there. We are all lathered up in the, uh, um, the Lancaster Razor Bowl. Ra Ra Man, I am not able to talk today. Lancaster Razor Works Bowl. All right, let's wet the face and get started. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. Uh, we've been having some snow, like I mentioned before. We came in on Sunday, uh, snowed a little bit more on Monday. Didn't snow a lot yesterday. Didn't snow last night, so I think we're done with the snow. There's still snow on the ground, but no new snow has shown up. I took the kids again sledding last night, but it was already somewhat a little icy, and you could see like the grass patches popping out in the park that we were going down the hills in. So definitely losing the snow sometime this week. I'm drinking my Keurig coffee. This is the mug my wife gave me for Christmas this year. Uh, these were our family photos. So um, every year, she's for the last uh, four or five years, she's been getting um, these cups and um, putting, uh, we do a fall family photo shoot every year. So we've been putting those on there. So very special cup today. All right, let's, uh, let's get started. And um, you know, this uh, Luther, and so those of you, I don't know if you've seen um, John, a.k.a. Latherhog, his interview with Johnny from Luther. Um, the word is of Danish origin, and he doesn't care whether you call it Lothar or Luther, but in um, I think in Danish, the O is pronounced like an O, so it's Luther. And so that's what I will call it. Uh, but if you haven't checked out the interview in the video, I'll put a link to John's channel on there. It's a very interesting interview. Uh, very interesting how Johnny got started in the soap making, um, the um, causes, the mental health causes that he's supporting also with the soap. So he has a brand. So that's another cool thing I didn't mention the last couple of videos. But another cool thing that I like about Luther is that his brand is actually supporting a cause uh, for mental health. And um, in it, Johnny talks about his own journey um, and how he came from fashion and ultimately um, got into the soap making, uh, started as a hobbyist like many soap makers probably did, and then um, kind of built a brand and utilized um, one of the, the um, mental health lines, which was original, one of the original Sense Calm um, is, um, named after, I can't remember what the, um, the calm stands for, but um, I think it's calm or tears anyways, one of those two, but uh, <clears throat> really cool story. Um, really nice to support a brand that supports a, an actual cause as well. And so um, I would highly recommend if you're interested in learning more about Luther and Johnny, that you check out John Latherhog's video interview with him. Um, very interesting. Uh, his background, where he came from, and um, to learn more about him. So I thought it was a very, very nice interview. Very well done. Uh, seems like a really great guy. And he's very responsive on social media. And um, so, all right, so let's talk about the scent on black. So this is an inspired by scent of Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, which again, I was not into fragrances prior to wet shaving, so I have no idea what the original smells like or how this compares. 
to the original. And uh, let me get the mustache area here. And then we'll go over the list of scent notes. I will say it's a, it's a nice scent. I'm gonna be honest, um, this scent is not really in my wheelhouse, um, this particular one. It's nice, um, there's nothing that I dislike about it, but I think it's just not quite in my particular scent profile wheelhouse. Uh, so it's a laundry list of ingredients, all very well blended. Uh, so <laughs> maybe you might wanna have a seat, this list is so long, <laughs> but uh, bergamot, verbena, pink pepper, violet, black pepper, nutmeg, ginger, geranium, Bulgarian rose, iris, Indonesian patchouli, uh, amber accord, leathery accord, vetiver, and I don't know what this scent is, I didn't have a chance to look it up, opopamax, uh, vanilla, and musk accord. And I don't think there's a ton of vanilla in here because it's a, it's a little um, kind of beige-ish, but it's not as dark as um, some of the scents that have a lot of amber in it get with the oxidation of the vanilla. Um, so, um, it's a lot of scent notes. It's hard to pick anything or a lot of it out in particular. I was expecting maybe a little bit more, to be honest, spiciness out of it with the pepper. Um, I was kind of expecting it with like a, a noir de noir for it to be a little bit darker of a scent. Um, it's not bright uh, and, you know, super, you know, vivacious or anything like that. Uh, but it's, it's not as dark as I was expecting. And it's not kind of as with the pink pepper and the black pepper and the musk and um, amber. I guess I was expecting a little bit more um, darkness out of it. Uh, <clears throat> so I don't really pick those up much. I'm not really getting a lot of the pepper. Um, I definitely don't pick out the patchouli to the nose as an individual ingredient, um, nor the vetiver really. I think what I get most, especially on the top, is probably a mix of, um, <clears throat> I would say probably the floral notes like the geranium and um, probably the violet and the iris mixed with kind of probably the nutmeg and ginger. Um, so I think that's maybe giving it its um, brighter, and again, it's not super bright, it's not really citrusy, super, um, super bright, but um, I think that's what keeps it from, I guess, getting too dark and um, spicy. Is that I think those, to me, probably the more, the floral notes, and it's not overly florally. Um, so don't get me wrong with that. I think if you like florals, though, um, or you don't mind a little bit of floral, and you like like nutmeg and um, uh, you like nutmeg and ginger type scents, you might this might be up your alley. Uh, overall, I think it mixes well, but again, I think this um, this particular scent uh, is probably not in my uh, scent profile wheelhouse per se. Um, definitely much preferred Oregon and white. And you know, I did a video yesterday on white and interestingly uh, in the shave and everything else, I liked it, but I wasn't blown away. But on the dry down <clears throat> um, after I shaved, um, definitely liked it a lot more. Uh, and so I definitely like the white now and my wife liked the white and um, Oregon, which when my wife likes something, she doesn't, she, my wife is not really into scents either, um, or I shouldn't say either, but into scents. She doesn't really wear any perfume. Um, she doesn't really like strongly scented stuff. So when I, um, Sometimes I'll be all excited about something and I think it smells great and I'll come down and say, oh, oh, 
That's so strong, that's so strong. What are you wearing? You're gonna wear that? You're gonna go to work smelling like that? And um, so anyways, I know when I have something that she likes, uh, I know I have a win. So Oregon and white were definitely wins with the wife. Um, I will say part of it to me is that the Luther is, um, is about medium scented. I mean, it's, it's, they're not like bold and banging like some of the, um, you know, some of the other, uh, like Ariana and Evans or first line shave. Um, I think it's, for me, it's kind of a nice, it's definitely strong enough, but it's on the medium side. Um, I wouldn't say medium low, I just say medium, a good medium, um, but it's not overly powerful on the scent strength. Um, and the splashes are really, really nice, left my skin feeling really good. Um, and the scent on the splash is, is definitely there, but also kind of a medium. I did find that the scent on the white uh, splash lasted longer than um, in, in terms of scent longevity than the scent on the Oregon one. Who's there? Ah! Oh no! It's a monster! Did you finish your breakfast? No. No? My tummy's full. Your tummy's full? Okay. Um, but we'll see how this one is on the dry down. I, I usually reserve final judgment to that on a scent, but off the tub and the soap and the lather, uh, nice scent, but not in my scent wheelhouse. And I can't exactly decide which notes are standing out that, um, Keep it from being in my wheelhouse but i think like i said it's a little bit of the combination of florals i don't know which floral it is um i don't know if it's the iris or i don't know if it's the violet um or the geranium or just a combination of the three because i can't really pick one Daddy. out We were there like yeah, last night for dinner, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna go there again. Well, we'll go today. there again another day. Well, they're not home today, bud. After All right. goes to school. Well, I think they got um, plans tonight, bud. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face here. Are you All right. Done? Yep, almost done. All right, so that's the shave. Let's get the uh, post shave going. By the way, um, should, should should do this in the beginning, but if you're still with me on the video today, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, if you, um, I should say, if you're watching this for the first time, should train of thought, kids, losing track. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time and you're still with me, hopefully you consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you've been here for a while, thank you for your support. Uh, and if you like anything you see in today's video, give her a thumbs up. All that helps the channel, helps uh, the al YouTube algorithms, all that kind of stuff. Helps it get recommended to other people when they do searches. So I would really appreciate that. Um, and so let's get the, get, get the splash a shake and get going with the splash. And then everybody can get going with their day. No, today's Wednesday, bud. Uh, but you're not going to home today. Friday. But is it Friday? No, it's Wednesday, bud. Oh. All right. So I get a, a little bit of a um, slightly different vibe on the splash. Um, I think I like the scent on the splash a little bit better. I'm not getting quite as much of the probably, I don't, I don't know, again, and I'm just kind of guessing because I'm not an expert on the scent notes. Um, I leave that to some of the other YouTube guys that are really good, like Jack from the Virtual Groom Room or John from Loud the Hog. They're both very good at the scent stuff and they're much more into so fragrances. So sour. Than what do you think of the smell, bud? Sour. You think it smells sour yeah. or like flowery? 
Sour. Sour. Huh? Smell it. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't smell sour to me though, bud. But anyways, I think um, I'm getting a little less of some of that floral, gingery, um, nutmeggy um, kind of scent on the splash. Uh, but still, we'll reserve final judgment to the dry down, but still maybe not in my wheelhouse on this scent. So, um, but nonetheless, I'm digging, I'm digging Luther and I think some great collaborations with the Razor Company. So thank you for tuning in today's video and we'll see you soon on the channel.